This is quite an unusual special purpose bulb or lamp and it's designed for use in the catering industry. If you've ever gone up to the heated buffets and they're illuminated by the lights from above and it also radiates that heat down to keep the food hot, this is what's doing that. It's a halogen lamp but because it's the food industry it needs protection against being splattered with oil. If I zoom down this so you can see it's got this outer glass sleeve here that is loose then it's got the halogen lamp inside. This does three things. It doesn't just protect it from being splattered with oil because halogen lights do not like that. But uh, it also protects from the UVC, the small amount of UVC that is given out by the halogen lamps. And also it uh, prevents a shattering lamp from scattering glass down over the food. So things worth mentioning, there are little vent slots in the side, so it can kind of breathe, so to speak. It's not going to build up pressure, and of course that is loose there anyway. So this came as a kit from a UK seller on eBay that specialises in catering equipment. I shall zoom out to fit this in. Uh, catering heat lamp bulb, 300 watt double jacket gantry light kit set. And it comes with a reflector, the lamp and the holder, which is good for doing maintenance for, because uh, usually you the ends of these holders burn. Um, and it came from Cater Spares UK 12, and it cost £13.50 inclusive, which I thought was actually quite reasonable. So one of the reasons I got this, I fancy trying out to see, could this be used in a workshop for extra light and heat simultaneously? Because when I worked in Glasgow at my bench, um, in winter, I used a 500 watt halogen floodlight above the bench and it was honestly, it felt like, it was great to go through to the bench because it felt like working under sunshine. It provided loads of light plus that heat and I'm not sure if this is optimised more, more for the heat or the light but we'll find out because I'm going to test it. Now that I've handled it, I'm going to clean the outer glass as well because these things do run quite hot and if you get fingerprints on it, it can actually cause damage to the glass by heat buildup and devitrification, particularly the quartz itself in there can devitrify. But this outer sleeve, I don't know what type of glass that is. But anyway, I'm going to set that up now and we can assess it for light output and I'll tell you what the heat's like. One moment, please. Okay, so it's a very golden light, as you can see. It's not actually a massive quantity of light. It is optimised for infrared, but boy, does it put out infrared. That is so hot. Instantly, as soon as you turn this on, you can feel the heat. I'm going to have to be careful here. I don't want to melt. I've got a clamp here just holding it up at the moment. But uh, it is 300 watts pretty much on the button, which is very good. Uh, unity power factor, which you'd expect, 1.2 amps, pretty good. Uh, but the heat... Oh, in winter time, that would be fantastic. Well, it's winter time at the moment. That does feel fantastic. Quite enjoying heating the hands. So let's take a closer look at the assembly now I've put it together. One moment, please. So some things worth mentioning about this. You'd have to put this into a suitable enclosure or just buy the complete light because the end caps here are effectively live because they are the bits that connect onto the lamp and there's a spring-loaded section also. If you put this into a housing of your own, it would need ventilation, it would need the ceramic turnal blocks and everything. So it maybe is a better option just to buy the full assembly. And it's one of these things that maybe you don't think you've got a use for it right now, but it's useful to know about things like this because you might have an application later on that you just need some spot heat on part of a production process or in your workshop. And because these work with long wave infrared light, they are one of the most efficient heat sources there is that thing that heaters, you know, you think 300 watts is 300 watts. But in this case, because it's long wave infrared light, you can it sends out basically as light. And you can feel the heat instantly on your body when it hits it. It is an efficient way of heating people in a large area where it wouldn't be viable to heat the whole building. Now, there is another option here. This one is broken. It's got a, it's got a wobbly end cap. But this is a traditional chicken coop type heat lamp as used in farms. You get the version with the red uh, glass and you also get the version with the uh, clear glass in the front that puts out a useful amount of light as well. This one's 250 watt. But you get the complete fittings for these that you can uh, suspend them from the ceiling and they've got the grill in front in case of glass breakage. And these put out the same golden radiant warm heat. Uh, it's very useful. A very efficient way of uh, workshop heating. But that is it. Um, useful 
thing. Now, I'm also guessing that because this isn't running super white hot, that the lifespan of the filament in this lamp is going to be very, very long. I suppose the catering guys are the ones who are going to know that because they work with them and uh, will know typically how long they're going to get between changes. But there we have it. Um, pretty neat. A nice assembly. Useful. I could possibly think of uses for this building into stuff for that uh, localised heating. Very neat. Um, well worth getting and exploring.